Well, it looks like the successor to the AMD Polaris 20 GPU is just around the corner according to the latest rumors from PC Online. The source reveals that the top tier AIB has just confirmed that the latest AMD Polaris 30 GPU based graphics cards are going to launch in mid of October, which is, well, a couple of days from now. According to the rumor, the first graphics cards to feature the new Polaris 30 GPU core would likely be the RX 570 successor, and the naming scheme has not been confirmed yet, but will be featuring a 2048 core configuration, which is the same as the Radeon RX 570, but is expected to feature higher core clock speeds since it's making use of the 12 nanometer process node. This would result in higher graphics performance, but it won't be much of a leap over the RX 570. Think of it somewhere along the line of the RX 470 to the RX 570. In addition to the core configuration, the graphics card will retain 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory along with a 256-bit bus interface, which is good enough for some mainstream gaming. Since the new card is going to fall into the mainstream market after all, we can expect the pricing to be close to the $200 segment. The RX 570 successor is said to launch around the 12th or the 15th of October, which is just right around the corner. In addition to the RX 570 successor, AMD will also launch the RX 580 successor with the 2304 string processor configuration Polaris 30 GPU. We will be looking at similar improvements in clock speeds and overall GPU efficiency, and this card will be launching slightly later sometime in November, around the same price point of the 8GB RX 580 models. The source clearly mentions that the graphics architecture will see no change and the optimized process node is what will be paying a key factor along with the price point. Since Nvidia really doesn't have a mainstream card under the $300 US market at this point, aside from their GeForce GTX 10 series card, this will be a nice opportunity for AMD to you know, try and catch up on some mainstream market traction before Nvidia releases the price effective and more mainstream Turing GPUs into the market. So that's really all we are on that one. Love to hear your thoughts on that. Do you really think there's a point in this or should they just withhold and wait for Navi, I guess? So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.